What's up gamers? I'm Numbers and today I'm gonna show y'all how to make some vegan food. Now me personally, I'm not like Logan Paul. I'm not vegan, but we do like to try to uh, eat some plant-based meals every once in a while because meat's kind of expensive and vegetables are not nearly as expensive. So we like to try to, you know, eat some plants every once in a while. Plus it gives us a little bit of variety and such like that. So, uh, you know, it keeps things fresh. It's really fun to try new recipes and everything too. So uh, anyways, let's get started. First thing is first, turn your oven to 350 degrees and let that thing preheat. It's kind of like last time. Anyways, let's go over what you're gonna need for this recipe. Just like last time, this recipe is not my own. It's some website, blah, blah, blah. It will be down in the description. So y'all can look how to do it yourselves if I'm just, you know, my instructions are just really stupid. Plus I'm leaving a thing out. It wants you to make your own pesto. So there's a recipe for pesto there. Uh, I'm not doing that. I'm just using pre-made vegan pesto. Need a uh, Italian seasoning, olive oil, salt, pepper, parchment paper, a silicone brush thing. I guess any kind of brush will work. Thank you for getting that, babe. Oh yeah, I gotta wash it, dang it. If I would stop throwing things, I wouldn't have to wash them so much. I also need to stop flinging them so I don't accidentally yeet them. Recipe calls for three small onions, uh, but I couldn't find any small onions, so I got three, uh, big onions, two for the recipe, one in case I mess something up, three zucchinis, uh, and once again, I got four in case I mess something up, and eight, that's only six, but there's the other two, eight Rom Roma tomatoes, a mandolin, is that what it's called? Mandolin? The thing where you go a cutting board in case you're not good at using the mandolin that's this is a backup in case i'm really bad with that thing or it really messes everything up i'm just gonna cut it with a knife manually and a dish to bake it in once again using the 8x12 dish variant first things first we got to rinse and clean off all the produce because you have no idea how many people might have sneezed on these? And that's disgusting. Rinse it off. Don't want to get diseases from people who sneezes on these. I'm worried about you using the mandolin. Why are you worried about me using the mandolin? You're gonna cut your finger off. I'm not gonna cut my finger off. And peel the onions. I didn't think about the fact that onions have all the disgusting layers. And I can't just cut them on the mandolin, so a knife, so I can cut it. All right, now to show this super advanced onion cutting technique that I literally just learned. You go uh, like that, like that, and like that. Apparently, that's all you. That's what you do. That's not coming off. Remember, be careful with knives, kids. Okay, but that's like onion. It's not skin. It's whatever. We're, we're getting rid of another layer because it makes me feel better. Also, be wary of all the tears that you're going to have from doing this because feeling an onion will make a grown man cry. Or a sissy baby like me. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to cut this top off because it's got the, this little warrior's wolf tail right here. And I don't want that in my meal. Yeet! Got the other one. Goodbye, warrior's wolf tail. Yeet! Cut the bottom part off, too. And it's got this, ugh. No, it's got the big old. That's really, like, not good. Whatever, that's fine. Yeet! And yeet! Wait, why am I not throwing stuff again? You said you shouldn't throw stuff because it falls on the floor. Cut the bottom part off of this one, too. A little bit deeper because you were stupid and didn't cut deep enough in the first place. All right, now let's get... The uh, mandolin! Mandolin! Alright, let's uh, just, just start, I guess. You're supposed to, you know what, let's do the zucchini first. Okay, let's cut this little nip off right here. Goodbye. 
I need to clean that up later. And then uh, just take this and... Okay. That's... That's easy. That's easy enough. Be careful though, everyone. Don't cut yourself. Get three different bowls to put the ingredients in. Also, I still have all this stuff right in the way, and I'm sure y'all want to see my beautiful face, so you know. Alright, keep cutting. By the way, uh, I'm making, uh, it's essentially ratatouille. Uh, I, I don't know why I didn't say what I was making. I just said something, I'm going to make a vegan dish, and that I'm not Logan Paul. So if you've ever seen the movie Pixar's Ratatouille, I'm basically making that, uh, or the thing said it's similar to that or something, but yes, I'm basically making Pixar's animated movie Ratatouille. So I'm probably gonna be a millionaire after this because that was a very, very, very uh, popular movie. It makes me glad that you're making are you mad at Tui? That makes me sad at Tui. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop it! Ah, well, okay, okay. Uh, mm hmm. Okay. Uh, that, I think that's all the. Uh, that's a lot of zucchini, so uh, I think that's all the zook zook we're gonna do for right now. Let's move on to the maters. This is the one I'm actually the most worried about, that it's, if it's going to work well with this, but we'll see. Okay, um, well, let's in, kind of... the, in the oven, it's going to mush up anyway. So. No. I gotta do it. That That is a dull knife. You're gonna need a different knife. It is not a dull knife. <laughs> okay, like Ruben, okay. Okay, finally done cutting all the maters. Now, onions. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. I think, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it in half. Cut it in, cut it in quarters. Cut it in quarters. Maybe don't cut it in quarters. We'll let you know at the very end. And then, uh, I guess cut that up and, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I just don't see, how is this supposed to work? It kind of stays together, but, like, not enough for it to be, like, like a solid layer kind of thing. Maybe we should have watched, like, a video. There wasn't a video for it. I mean, another video. But, no, I should have watched the movie Ratatouille. Oh, I should have watched Ratatouille. Dang it. Should have watched Ratatouille in, in preparation for this video. Oh, well. Let's try it. Okay, let's, let's do this. I'm tired of cutting it in fours and all that. I'm already tired of doing this dish and I just started. <laughs> I don't like cutting a bunch of stuff. That's why, like, whenever we, like, have vegetables or whatever and we want, like, we want them cut up, I literally stick them in the blender. Ah! Hello, everyone. I am Jordy. Uh, okay. Well, you know what? That's, that's, okay, now I can, oh, <gasps> Daniel, you're a genius! There we go. Okay, put some olive oil at the bottom of the pan. I think I got some on the counter. It'll be fine. Let's use a lot of olive oil. Let's make it super fatty, super delicious, super gamer fuel. Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Wait. Super Saiyan God Super Sa Super Saiyan Super Sa Super Saiyan. All right, that's that's spread around. Okay, so you just kind of go like like this or something and you just kind of like layer it oh well that's not gonna work that's not even gonna be close to working oh this is gonna take forever okay almost done almost done as y'all can see uh this very last part i'm getting i'm just getting really lazy about it right here uh this is this is taken actually a long time to uh to do so i'm kind of getting lazy with it i didn't think it was going to take this long but um alas it did yep that looks that's good right there all right so that's what it looks like which looks i mean already kind of looks pretty darn good uh we have all this leftover zucchini and tomato uh so i'll probably just probably just stir fry that later in the walk or um 
something like that. Salt! Here's the salt. Salt everything. Pepper. I got pepper all over the counter right there. It's fine. It's fine. I need Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning it up. This is why all your dishes end up overseas. What do you mean? <laughs> it looks <laughs> fun. Pesto. Watch out. Get your brush. Dip it in the pesto. And then just kind of brush it on. It's, it's like it. Brush it on. Okay, dokey. And then it said to also like uh, drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top after you're done with the pesto. So drizzle a little bit of olive oil on top. All right, before you put it in the oven, you need to get parchment paper. This is 75% unbleached, compostable Reynolds Kitchen parchment paper. I really only got this because uh, it was cheaper than the regular parchment paper. Probably because it's some bougie uh, kind of crap and no one buys it. Regardless, it's parchment paper. And I'm supposed to put it over top that way and then get rid of the stuff that's got the tape on it. Yeet! Nice catch. Regardless, this is uh, parchment paper and you need it for uh, to make sure that the dish doesn't burn apparently. Open your oven, get the woof of heat, and take that and put it in the oven. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. Put it in there for 30 to 35 minutes. I'm gonna go with 32 just to see how that works. Take this time everyone to clean up your gaming cooking station. It's ready! Let's take it out. See how it's ready? It smells really good. All right. Ooh, dang. That looks, that looks delicious. And, oh man, that, that looks really good. It's, piping hot right now, but it's not going to stop me from uh, trying it a little bit. Blow on it a lot because dang is it hot. I mean it was just in 350 degrees for uh, 32 minutes, so I mean that's, yeah, that's going to be hot. Don't try this at home kids when it's coming right out of the oven, but uh, here we go. Mmm, mm-hmm. That's really, really good. I think I'll try that a second time. That's really good. Vegans know what they're doing. Okay, so the way you you can kind of do it, like stack it however you want, depending on which vegetable like you want more of. The way I did it was zucchini, onion, zucchini, tomato, zucchini, onion, zucchini, tomato, blah, 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 blah. And it went on and on and on. And you could do it any way you want, I guess. Uh, that's just the way I personally did but dang it's really really good actually it really is good what i'm just gonna take two bites three bites all right success that was that's that's really really delicious so there you go folks that's how you make a really good delicious uh kind of ratatouille uh thingamajig uh vegan style i think ratatouille is actually vegan anyways um like but you know Whatever, this was on a vegan recipe website, so, or something like that. It was on a vegan recipe list, so that's why I did it. It does take a really long time to do, so if you're gonna do it, uh, you're gonna have to commit a bit of time. Uh, but if you're looking for something different to uh, try one night, I really do suggest it. This is really genuinely good. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have for y'all today. Thank you for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, help, subscribe, all that good stuff, and hit that bell button, hit the... And I will see y'all next time. Goodbye!